Greetings, all you and minds of the crimes. Welcome back to another Warframe Weapon Showcase. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the infested arm cannon that came out, it feels like, a while ago. The Bobinaco. Bub, bub, the bub, the bub gun. Um, so, this thing is fucking huge, and it's honestly pretty cool. So, this is the, the build. So, this weapon uses shotgun mods. Ouch. Uh... <laughs> Not saying shotgun mods are absolutely terrible, but it's just, if this weapon used rifle mods, it would be insane. It already is insane. This is a very powerful weapon. So, high multi-shot, because I have vigilante armaments here just for more multi-shot. I know some would say, oh, put it in another format, and you put on a prime sh uh, charge shell, and there you go. That's That's how you mod. I have an idea for you. Shut up. Uh, let me mod my weapons how I want. This build right here kills steel paths. So there's that. Um, so the primary fire is just, you know, your average, ordinary, like, giant fucking shotgun. And the projectiles move decently quickly. Nothing too crazy. And this thing runs off of a battery, so it has a recharge. Uh, just like the Shedu. Um, and then the alt fire does, like... No damage, but it has an 8 viral, so, and it has a shit ton of status. So the idea is you use the alt fire and then clean up the scraps with, uh, you prime them with viral, then you hit them with something else. Uh, the innate, you know, this thing comes with a lot of slash, right? So that's the idea. And, you know, it actually works, so let me show you what I mean. So this is the uh, corrosive build, this is the build I mostly use, so... Without without uh, using the viral, I mean, yeah, this thing just, it shreds. It absolutely shreds, but then you add the viral to everything, and it's just, it's just kind of game over. This thing is really powerful. My big issue with it is that recoil pattern is just annoying. But that's just, that's honestly very nitpicky, and yeah, the alt fire does no damage. So do not expect to be bombing everything and to do a shit ton of damage. That's just not how it functions. So the viral setup here, I only have this against Corpus because Corrosive does like nothing against Corpus. This wrecks Corpus. You could instead have just straight up Toxin and then Toxin plus Viral or help Radiation and Viral. That's going to fuck Corpus up, because here's the thing about Corpus units, especially uh, the armored ones. The armored Corpus units, as rare as they may be, have alloy armor. So keep that in mind. I mean, not that it matters too much. So, that's the weapon in a nutshell. Now, we are going to be going into Steel Path and show you what I mean with this weapon. So, I'm going to be bringing my Panzer with me to spread viral even more. Um, and he's also the only companion I have that will actually survive Steel Path. Uh... I'll be taking this build. Now, some people have said on shotguns, blunderbuss, you might as well not use it. I mean, with something with a high rate of fire like the comb and the, the, the comb, sure. But on something like this, it feels like it's not doing as much damage. Now, you could say the argument of, oh, you could instead have like vicious spread on there. You could have um, number of o other mods. I don't know, fatal acceleration for more projectile speed, or something other like that, or just straight up more elemental damage. Fine, if you want to mod your gun like that, it's your game. But me personally, I'd rather just have the crits. So. Let's go into the steel path. So yeah, you hit them with the viral. Bit of a long recharge sometimes, but you know. Yeah, um. Just, it's just plowing through these enemies. And with the panzer here, I don't even really need to use the alt fire. I'm just going to melee these guys, because why not? 
Taipito Prime is insane. Oh, hi, Violence. You're, um... Yep, that was probably cheating. Okay, okay, game. Do not crash. So, yeah, Violence is getting wrecked. You are not the answer. That was so stupid. That was a bad joke. Why did I say that? Uh, but, yeah, um... It's just sort of tearing through them. Is anyone experienced weirdness with Ninja's Halo or Ninja's Chakram? Because it's not behaving correctly. Weird. Anyway. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I kind of want to steal Essence, because why not? Teshin, uh had four form of bundles. Don't do that to me, you fucking prick. I said, I'm just going to melee you guys for the last few seconds here. Very, very good. So the Babanako, Bubana the Bub, is is great. I, I know I'm, I I suck at pronouncing things. It's called I have dyslexia and I have a minor speech impediment. So do not get on my ass about it. Anyway, this is, good. this is a good weapon. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I expect it to get hit with a nerf hammer really hard. Very awesome weapon. Now, obviously, if I was, you know, trying to maximize the damage as best as I can and be super ultra meta, I would get rid of Blunderbuss and then put on Prime Charge Shell with an extra Forma. But fuck all that, because I don't use this weapon too, too much. I like it. It's just not something I gravitate towards. i am mostly just been using my Tomb Finger kick guns anyway. Um, but it doesn't matter. This thing is going to wreck everything you throw it at. It's just going to obliterate it. As long as it's not like the Eidolons or anything like that. If it's, you know, normal star chart enemies or steel path enemies or just, uh, demolists and disruption, it doesn't care. It just destroys it's a pretty simple weapon. It's a big, giant, infested arm cannon shotgun. And before someone asks, is it good with mag? The projectiles act weirdly in the bubble. I really should have shown it, but... Nah, eh, eh. That's just all I have to say for it. Um, Just just use a Tomb Finger primary or Tomb Finger secondary for mag or... Uh, I don't know, you could just resort to the old reliable, a little boring of using the Secure Penta. Um, do not say Maradetron because that thing is trash. Anyway, this is a good weapon. Definitely would recommend it. So, the only issue is it's a shotgun and it's using shotgun mods. Oof. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, in Joby, we trust.